I get my body to where I'm, I'm hanging free now. And right at that moment, the boulder pulled loose. I fell to the bottom of the canyon. I caught myself. In that split second, as I look up, and this bus tire-sized rock is falling from my head, I only have that, that instinctive moment of reaction. What can you do with that? I start trying to lift the rock, trying to pull it, trying to wrench my arm free. And then I knew I had to get myself under control again. S-T-O-P. Stop, think, observe, come up with some options, make a plan. The way I see it is that, yes, I walked out of that canyon without most of my right hand, but I didn't lose anything. I only gained from this. Because what do our boulders bring us? But they also bring us those choices. We choose to make it into a tragedy or into a triumph. I picked up my, my video camera. I held it up in front of me and I looked into it. Dad, I love you. I'm sorry. I'd like for you to think about it in the context of that video recorder, that tape. Think about what would you say? And who would you say it to? Because the answers to those questions, they will absolutely, without a doubt, tell you what's most important in your life. Our boulders, they show us what's important to us, what's possible for us. What are we made of? What are we capable of? And I was finding out, and it was a lot more than I thought. Remember the knife? Too dull to get through the bone. And how can you cut your arm off with a knife that's too dull to cut through the bone? You can't. But the boulder, the boulder, the boulder, that, that's it, that's it, that's it. You don't have to cut the bone, Aaron. Use the boulder. Break the bone. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get back. I'm going to get a hug from my mom. I'm going to maybe see that little boy someday. And that was when I realized that there are actually two bones in your arm. <laughs> a mechanical engineer took you six days to figure out torque. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm not hiring you, Aaron. And I stepped out of my grave and into my life again. <laughs> Looking out and down 20 meters below to a pool of not my own urine. <laughs> you understand that it's not just what we do, it's also the support that we have, our teams, our families. And it was maybe about time that I started applying that lesson that I'd learned in the canyon. It's, it's not just about the will to live, it's about the will to love. It's about those relationships. What had given me the strength to do what I had done? What gives you the strength to do what you do? When your boulders come, don't push them away. Open your arms. Embrace them so that your boulders might become your blessings too. Thank you very much.